kinds of sentences. Do you love to tell stories? Of course, you do. You retell stories that you have read from books or fairy tale movies that you have watched on your television at home, or a simple story that you have heard from your grandmother, parents, and siblings. In telling something, you are using a declarative sentence. I was chased by a T Rex when I visited the African forest. A declarative sentence ends with a period. Sometimes, you also ask a lot of questions to gain more knowledge and to acquire more information. You are curious to know more about the many things that surround you. By asking a question, you are using an interrogative sentence. What is your favorite subject? An interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. You are often expressive in telling about something. You show pride in expressing great appreciation when you receive something which is of value to you. When you are excited or surprised, you often speak with strong emotion. In expressing excitement or emotion, you are using an exclamatory sentence. Yes. We won. An exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark. Moreover, you are also taught good values such as obedience and respect by your parents at home and by your teachers in school. You want someone to tell you to do something in a nice way and so you also tell someone to do something for you in a nice way. In making a demand or request, you are using an imperative sentence. Please be quiet. An imperative sentence ends with a period. Activity 1. Directions. Read each question. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. What is an interrogative sentence? A. It tells about something. B. It asks about something. C. It expresses a strong feeling when telling about something. D. It makes a simple command or request. 2. Which sentence below is an example of an interrogative sentence? A. The students help in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue. B. Please help in cleaning the surroundings. C. Who helped in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue? D. I cannot help you. 3. Which sentence below is an example of an imperative sentence? A. The students help in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue. B. Please help in cleaning the surroundings. C. Who helped in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue? D. I cannot help you. 4. Which sentence below is an example of a declarative sentence? A. The students help in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue. B. Please help in cleaning the surroundings. Who helped in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue? D. I cannot help you. 5. Which sentence below is an example of an exclamatory sentence? A. The students help in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue. B. Please help in cleaning the surroundings. C. Who help in the cleanup drive to prevent dengue? D. I cannot help you. Activity 2A. Directions. Copy the sentences in your notebook. Check the box before the number if it is a declarative or telling sentence and put an X mark if it is an interrogative or asking sentence. Directions. 
Identify the imperative and exclamatory sentence from each item. Write the sentence on the correct column below. Directions. Use each picture on the left to write a declarative, exclamatory, interrogative and imperative sentence. Don't forget to punctuate accordingly.